Good day everyone, so today we have a mega unboxing and I'm quite excited because there are many packages for us to open and uh, yeah, I think we should just get straight up into this, probably the thing I'm most excited about is this <laughs> and when a South African man sees this, especially with those little marks, oh man, they know, they know, it is a great time because what we have here is some bultong, some pure South African bultong and I'm gonna cut some up for us and I'm gonna eat it while I do this unboxing video because I just can't wait anymore. Nice! Okay, so there we have it. Some nice boltong. This is fantastic as a knife maintenance <laughs> tool uh, because you can really oil your knife with these guys. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of fat um, because I need to be a bit more healthy. But at least I'm not vegan yet, right? And these are probably the reason why I will never be a vegan. <laughs> That's insane. And lump choppies. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to eat this while we talk about some awesome gear that I just got. And um, some of it is new. Some of it I got from someone um, secondhand. So we'll take a look at what we have, right? Let's get it. Okay. So first up, I have here a box from Take A Lot. And Take A Lot is like our South African Amazon. So I got this light and this is perfect for jogging at night or especially now during the winter time when it gets quite uh, dark early on. Um, yeah, it, uh, it's perfect for, for going jogging. Unfortunately, right now I can't because my leg is still broken, but it is also perfect for mechanic work. So when you need to get up under your car and you have no hands to, to hold a little torch, this will do a great job. So this sits on your head. We have a little light over here a little torch over there and uh, then this led strip which works great i think it's like 350 lumens so you have different settings and then we have the torch here also different settings fantastic little piece of kit not very expensive and it seems high quality it really does it's got these like rubber bands very nice and also i think it's a little bit waterproof or water resistant at least and it does uh, work with a charging cable. Okay, next up we have finally my um, cover for my little Samsung Watch 4. Uh, because I really am not the guy who takes good care of his watches. So here we have the, the Watch 4. And um, oh, it's in water mode. So I took a shower with it. So uh, this is sort of a silicon kind of a casing with a protective cover. So let's see if this fits onto the watch. Uh, there we go. Okay, perfect fit. And it still works, touchscreen. Nice. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. This watch is actually quite nice. Um, it comes with this sort of a magnetic charger. So you can just stick your watch on there. But uh, sometimes I do prefer maybe something not magnetic um, that you can attach to it because it can come loose relatively easily. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> but anyway, works great. And then we have some stainless steel straps for our Samsung Watch 4. So let's take a look here yeah, what we have. Okay, this does feel very nice. Here are some pins that I should not lose. And there we have it, some beautiful straps. Um, the reason why I got this is just because these do not really seem ap appropriate for more like fancy dress stuff. And um, I don't have a watch that's more expensive than this one at the moment so yeah i uh i like this because it just makes it a bit more classy and a bit more relevant for everyday use this is great for exercise and stuff like that and um, this is a fantastic watch for for fitness it really is um there's so many different functions but you guys can go look that up but i think this is gonna look very nice what do you guys think yeah it's gonna look good okay should not lose these little pins Let's take a look at something else that we got. Come now. There we go. Right. So. Here we have it. Woo! Yes, man. Okay. Now I must see. Let's use the pickled steel nebula. Oh, what a beauty. To open up this guy. Sharp there. And uh, there we have it. Right. I'm not going to show you guys the front, but, uh, okay, there we go, that's fine. 
oh, I love it that they packaged it so well. So that I can actually use this thing as it is meant to be used. Woo, very nice. Okay. I have some good packaging here. Thank you, Mr. Gert. There's a feather in there for some reason. I don't know why. But hey, whatever. Bonus feather. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, yo. But this is packaged very nicely. Wow. Okay guys, so we have here a Lansky sharpener. And now this is not new, this is second hand. I got it basically for free. And I have used many guided sharpeners in the past, um, but I've not used the Lansky. And probably because it does not include a stand. So it's frustrating <laughs> to sharpen with it because it doesn't include a stand. Usually you need to buy the stand separately. Um, so yeah, let's take a look here just at what we've got. Okay. We have three different stones. You can buy extra stones, which is great off, off the market stones um, from Lansky. And uh, you do get sets with five stones and then you get sets with three stones. These are the uh, three stone set. And yes, here we have the clamp. So you'll clamp your knife in there. It's, it's nice because it's like this steel, stainless steel hardware. So that's pretty good. Uh, you have a 17 degree, a 20 degree, a 25 and a 30 degree. And that's probably where you want to be, right? Um, I sometimes do prefer going like 22 degrees or 19 degrees, but ah, uh, oh man, you know, this should work just great. Uh, I do usually use other guiding systems or a Tormac machine, but um, I wanted to try out this thing because I've heard good things about it. And I've seen, I've recently seen a photo where a guy actually put a mirror edge on a D2 blade, on a pickled steel D2 blade, Ashley. And he said that he used a Lansky system. I think he used different stones, so I'll be getting those stones. But putting a mirror edge on a D2 blade is, <laughs> is not an easy thing to do, guys. It is very time consuming. So maybe I'll do some sharpening videos on the channel. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see something like that. And then we can uh, we can maybe do that. We have some sharpening honing oil here. And um, it's not full because this is second hand, but it will do the job. We have a oh, 120 degree core stone. So this is more for reprofiling and it basically seems unused. Then we have a 280. So also more along the lines of reprofiling. This seems more used as I can imagine. Um, you don't really use 120 a lot <laughs> unless there's some serious crap going on with that edge. Um, yeah, so this is a 280 and then we have a 600 fine stone. Oof, and this seems very fine. It basically, I don't, yeah, it almost don't feel like 600. But you can definitely finish an edge on this stone. If it's 600, it's 600 according to them. I don't think this is 600. This feels more like 1000 to me. But yeah, we'll see. I'll do some sharpening videos. I think that will be nice. And then we will see, see what the type of edges we can put on. Now what's nice is these stones actually slot in on these little um, iron bars. And uh, this will also probably work on some of my other guided systems. So I can use, right now I have a 120, 280 and 600. You actually want a 400 diamond, a 600 diamond, and then a 1000 diamond and a 1500 grit ceramic. That's probably what you want to, to really finish your edge very nicely and uh, do a good sharpening job on a guided system. So I do have those stones on the other system. But it's nice that I can just include these um, extra stones. Why not, right? And uh, try out a different system. Maybe this works even better. I don't know. But okay. You can buy extra stones um, off the market. Um, but they are quite expensive. Nice little kit. <coughs> okay, guys. I think I'm going to stop the video right there. I do have another thing to unbox. But I'm going to keep that for a next video. Um, because I think that's going to deserve its own video. Uh, so right now, I'm just going to enjoy my Boltong feather, and uh, yeah, have a knife day, and remember that no knife means no life. Like a...